Hey folks, welcome to Ravenwood Farm, which is a new series I am doing on FS22. This is on Elm Creek. This was one of the placeable farms on the map that you couldn't interact with. I have deleted all of that, uh, which is giving me some funny terrain features over there. We have our little house up there. Uh, we have a nice silo here and a shed. In fact, we have a few sheds. Um, so we have one of the big Herman solar sheds that's so going to give us a little bit of income. We have a couple of easy sheds and a garage. And because Ravenwood Farm is a dairy, we have a couple of cow sheds. Um, so those are the big cow sheds which hold 80. We only have 40 in each. Um, so we have some brown Swiss in one and some Holstein in the other, just for a bit of variety. Uh, and we've got a pretty well equipped farm to be honest we've got this uh the Fent black beauty 942 we've got the john deere that you saw over there um we have another john deere 6m just there and a jcb telehandler uh, we've got most of the field working equipment that we need uh, some of it is not massive some of it is so there'll be some need to upgrade and really this series is about playing with cows and running a dairy and learning a bit about fs22 uh, so we've got a couple of bunker silos there as well for some silage um, and up at the store we have a mac truck waiting with a flatbed because we have a field of sorghum and a field of oats both of which the oats are ready to harvest the sorghum is not uh, and we've got a bunch of empty fields as well so if i just jump in the map uh, we basically own this plot of land here um, so field 61 and 62 I put the two cow sheds in and I have ploughed the remainder in to field 63. Uh, field 64 and 65 are quite small so I've ploughed those together. 66 and 67 were there. Again they were quite small. They now have our bunker silo. Mm, terrain's a bit funny. And one of our easy sheds. Uh, oh, that's okay. Uh, so I've done is I'm going to plough these two together and uh, plant grass in there we're going to plant grass in the field that runs around the two sheds um not sure what i'm going to do with the top field up there it's quite small um and then we have our three slightly larger fields i may actually plow them together into two i don't know um because of how animals work at the moment we don't really need to be growing too many crops we want a crop for straw obviously which we've got our oats and we want something for silage which will probably be corn uh, so we may plow those two together into a single field as well uh, but we need a combine we do not own a combine we can't really afford to buy one particularly as we're also going to need a forage harvester to uh we're going to turn the sorghum into silage so I'll meet you back up at the store in a second. So we are up at the store. No surprise, I am sure what the store at Elm Creek looks like. Most of you are probably playing on it. We've got the old Mac truck up here with a low loader on the back. Uh, how have I made the farm that we've got? Well, uh, if you go on King's Mod, someone has extracted the base game maps into a mod so you can use them as a mod rather than base game and use Giant's Editor to uh, delete the bits of the farm that were around it. Um, I believe giants are looking at making those farms playable because loads of people want to be able to play those other farms. Uh, also, the store have a forklift up here for us to use if we need to. Um, so we are going to lease us a, a John Deere combine, the uh, the T fifty six hundred. I think that will do about right for what we need to do with our one oat field. 14 odd thousand dollars to lease and we'll lease the uh so about 30 foot header i think it is uh, seven meters so we'll lease that for a couple of thousand dollars and we need a header trailer i have not really got stuck into the game too much yet apart from doing lots of testing and random little videos and i'm not sure which header trailer is the right one i'm going to guess this one which we'll lease as well for 200 bucks uh, so there we are there is our combine and header so i brought the fence up here to uh, pull the header trailer back which is slightly overkill but it's fast
if we jump in the combine. Uh, so if you're wondering about all of the stuff in the bottom right hand corner, that is Enhanced Vehicle, uh, which is, I'm not sure if it's still in preview only or whether it's been released yet, I think it's still in preview, um, but it's a mod that I really like, DNFS19, uh, I used it until I picked up Vehicle Control Add-on, which I think is also in development for FS22. It looks like the header will fit on this trailer um, the nice thing about this is it sort of has GPS built in to enhance vehicle um, what it doesn't do is doesn't do implement width if you watch some of my other videos I've said that a few times but it does give you a heading hold feature which is really nice So we'll get this on the back of the low loader and we'll head off to the farm. It might have been quicker just to get a worker to drive this down to the farm, to be honest, than uh, messing about putting it on the back of a trailer, but I thought it'd be fun. Um, and I've got this trailer because th there aren't yet many good flatbeds or low loaders. Oh, this doesn't fit. And this is not a brilliant one because they're all quite narrow so they don't really fit a combine this is not the biggest combine in the world either and you imagine trying to get an x9 on here i'm gonna give up on that i also forgot to reset my character i'm just gonna uh, get a worker to drive that down to the farm i think Uh, create job, go to uh, we get him to drive to there that should work and uh, we'll worry about getting the uh, truck picked up later we'll drive the fence back down with the header on the back means we should be able to follow the combine and see how well the worker it does I have had workers drive that route fairly regularly, getting stuff down to the farm. Although in the end, I did put on store deliveries, uh, which is available now. I've switched it back off now we're playing because I prefer to uh, run to the store for stuff generally. We're a bit faster than the combine, obviously. I'd probably use this tractor to uh, cart for the combine. We've got a little uh, grain trailer down at the farm. Haven't gone with the auger wagon route because nothing's far enough away yet that we need to worry about that. Still learning my way around. Hey, cut down there. No, we'll go the way we came. Oh, helper G, where are you going? Where are you going, helper G? There we go, back on the road, that's it. Um, the mod that I don't seem to have enabled, but I think I've got installed as well, that I love is Park Vehicle, so that when you're doing stuff like this, you can switch off a load of the vehicles that you don't need. And so you will have seen the really cool pickup truck that we got from OK Used Mods going through there. And they don't really have much of a use for it at the moment, but it's nice having a cool pickup truck. I like this area of the map as well and in fact I set up a test farm on here uh, which I was going to switch to using but uh, when I saw how nice the area was around Ravenwood farm that seemed like the obvious choice to me so and it's a dairy farm and I love me a dairy farm so until we get a real map with a real dairy on that's what we'll be doing uh, this is going to be like my other series where it's a mixture of me doing a talking intro like this and uh, time lapse with commentary. Uh, I think, like most people, I find it quite difficult to have the time to sit and watch a straight time lapse where you've got to read the subtitles or, you know. Um, so I like doing the commentary because if you're like me, you might just watch the video in the background, and without the commentary, you uh, you don't have a clue what's going on. So. That's quite a small header. It should be all right, actually. It should be a reasonable size for this field. So we'll just... Uh, I'll be back when the combine's made it. So, uh, 
just a quick wardrobe change while we were waiting for the combine to get down here and i also ran over to the store and brought the truck back so that's parked down in the yard now just so we don't have to remember uh, main reason for wanting to harvest this oat field is obviously to get some straw for the cows um, Although they do seem to be producing manure without straw, which is quite interesting. We're just going to park the header trailer in the uh, empty field here. So I'm not sure whether I want to plow this into one bigger field. Um, so we basically have two big fields and then the small field up by the top of the farm. Uh, because I don't think we need to grow many crops. As I said, I think we can get away with basically growing we just need to unfold the harvester store shot is enabled i think we can basically get away with growing a uh, a crop for uh, if you control end sets the heading lock so we're locked on to 270 degrees now um yes i think we need to grow a crop for straw so something like wheat barley or oats as we have here and I want to grow maize for silage, obviously. But that's about it. The rest would be cash crops. Now, maybe we want to get into some cash crops. Um, because we're probably, if we want to expand the uh, size of the dairy, we're going to need another shed. And they're expensive at the moment. Uh, those Herman sheds are not cheap. Um, so that's an option that we may look at doing so we're just missing a bit that's darn annoying um let's just back up a bit see this field is not square and then uh i have it set so that it's control w to reset the previous angle and control s to rotate by 90. Now, it seems to work quite well that's not the standard keys i can't remember what the standard keys are um yeah and buying the next field we can buy is a pretty big field it's uh i can't remember what number it is the field over there uh it's a pretty big field um and it's about six hundred thousand dollars so yeah that's not going to be cheap either um everything's expensive in fs22 i'm sure you've all seen that as well everything's expensive um i don't know if i'm going to get into productions at all with the uh with the dairy um see we could get into cheese and things like that i'm not sure whether i want to do that or not so current priority is uh get these oats harvested and the straw baled we only have a small round baler which is going to be interesting definitely an area we want to upgrade in the future and then i think it's a couple of days and the uh so gun will be ready and we will be chopping that for silage to go into one of the bunkers um probably between the two we will get our grass planted because we don't really have any grass available we have a small number of bales that we uh brought as we were setting the farm up and that's about it so we uh and because we can't feed straight silage to cows anymore unless someone wants to work out how to decode the animal feed xml so that we can edit that easily um we're going to need some grass so we can make some hay so that we can make tmr and so that's kind of a priority we have some headland areas i guess that we could mow to make hay i think we own those areas up to the uh so the farm is down this bottom corner yeah we we do own up to the road so we could mow those and get a little bit of hay i guess we may resort to that we may resort to that um, we have a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar loan as well um setting up the farm cost more than that but it's a giant's map you have to set up the whole farm if it was a modded map you would just buy the farm area for a lot less yeah, there's a field there that's why you were cutting a big headland you idiot so the, the bit that the uh the enhanced vehicle gps doesn't have is width so we have to guesstimate our width um 
and then we can lock on to the heading which is really cool i think that's enough of a rambling introduction so we'll get in to the time lapse bit of the video now um, basically you're going to get this field harvested and get the straw baled and stacked i think is my goal um as you prefer i go time wise so we are on two day months so that makes six day seasons and i lost half the day setting the farm up so we will be going to times five or times three which are the two speeds that i normally play at just to uh, keep things rolling so yeah time lapse time we'll uh, get this field harvested and uh, future me will be back with you to give you some commentary as we go very shortly take three i think they've stopped oh, the hammer drill is driving me nuts it's so loud anyway uh, we're going to stick a worker on here and we're going to jump in the fence and go grab our grain trailer which is the actually before we do that quick look at our bale store and the jcp telehandler that's all the bales we have to keep things going until we can get some grass growing and some silage going We'll get the silicone silage but we need grass because we need hay because you can't just feed silage so we have the brightner power cube as our grain and silage and pretty much everything trailer um not used that before new to me new to fs maybe i'm not sure um anyway back in the combine and running the harvest it really annoys me that the screens don't show what you're doing um, so we're showing beans of some sort hopefully modders will get on that and uh, give us some more useful stuff in cab that would be cool then we've got about 16,000 litres of oats off of this field mainly we need the straw obviously for the cows um, but we'll sell the oats in january when the price peaks need to do a bit of landscape in there um, i'm not a fan of the current landscaping placeables system where you can't adjust the height of things you place it's a bit annoying so we're gonna have to do a bit of work there to smooth all that out and make it look a bit more natural we're now going to jump in the 6M, I think it's an M, yep, I really love this little tractor and we're going to run the baler and just checking what size bales the bale shredder can take, but it doesn't seem to have a problem so we're going to go for the 180cm bales. Now, I really like this tractor when it was released in FS19 when Giants teamed up with John Deere to release it, it's a cool little utility tractor. Uh, what size bales are we going to get? Um, my first time baling straw, obviously with the different size bales and the different shape bales, you get different amounts. 11,000 litres of straw um, and with grass or hay and straw you get different amounts too, which is really cool. I'm assuming it's based on the crop's density. Um, you know, the more dense the crop is, the more litres of it you can stick. I know that makes no sense. I'm not sure. The volume of the bale is fixed. That's weird. Okay, anyway. Uh, a little bit of in cab work working quite well um i have really unusually for me i had the sound on when i was recording this so i could hear when the baby was getting full so we didn't have too many incidents of me driving off with a full bale i'm going to leave that last little bit it's not worth sticking in the baler we'll cultivate that in just going to do some terrain smoothing here to try and knock down that huge ledge that's there and then we're going to take the Mac over with the flatbed. We don't have a bale trailer on here. We have the Mac with the flatbed. Um, and then we'll get the JCB and load these bales up and get them into the store, or into the shed. Not that we need to. We could just leave them in the field forever until we needed them. Or until we need to clear the field, which will be a job we need to get to very soon. Not sure when corn planting season is, because that's what's going to go in this field next. And the other question is whether I plow this field and the empty one next to it together into one big field. I'm still thinking about that. Bale physics seem better in FS22. This is my first time really loading up bales. Um, and it works quite well. I'm using the MDS Bale Spear, which is by Denis Farms. So if you Google Tyson Denis, you'll find his website and you can download it from there. Get it from there, not one of the other mod sites. Um, it's probably a copy link if it is. We're going to try and stick some straw in now. This is great fun because if you've used these sheds, finding the bale trigger is a nightmare. I had watched Mr. CDP use them. I had a vague idea, but I had to go back and watch this video again to find it i try and use f5 to find where the trigger is 
and uh, it doesn't help me very much either um so i said I, I think it's somewhere there but it doesn't pop up for me um so i went off and watched mr cdp's video and uh when i reload the game you'll see this is where the straw blower trigger is and um, the cows seem to use a huge amount of straw i don't know how many days it's going to last so i'm just going to put half a bale in each and next time we'll sort out getting them fed and bedded up properly uh, i'm assuming it might be like base game 19 and it lasts 10 days which if it does that's okay i guess if not these bales aren't going to last very long um, we'll get them in the shed for now but a bunch of them are going to get blown into the cows before bedding that just leaves me to say thanks for watching folks hope you're enjoying the start of this new series if you are subscribe ring the little bell you'll get notifications of my daily videos leave me a like leave me a comment and i'll catch you next time on ravenwood arm